ശ്രീ വിവേക് അഗ്നിഹോത്രി ഇന്ന് നമ്മളോടൊപ്പം ഉണ്ട് തത്തുമയി ടി വിയോടൊപ്പം ഉണ്ട് അദ്ദേഹത്തോട് നമുക്ക് സംസാരിക്കാം and if i can make the youth of this state aware about the dangers of urban nationalism that would be my great service to adi shankaracharya's philosophy of oneness i hope you are aware of uh, 1921 genocide that yes. happened in kerala yes i am more aware than lots of people in kerala <laughs> that's great to know i hope you will take some into some documentary or some project based on this one yeah day. who knows my next film may have it നമസ്കാരം ഭാരതത്തിൽ കഴിഞ്ഞ ഏതാനും വർഷങ്ങൾക്കിടയിൽ ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ ചർച്ച ചെയ്യപ്പെട്ട ഒരു ചിത്രമാണ് ദി കാശ്മീർ ഫയൽസ് ഒരു പക്ഷേ ഭാരതത്തിലെ ചിന്താസരണികളിൽ വലിയൊരു പ്രകമ്പനം സൃഷ്ടിച്ച ഒരു ചിത്രം കാശ്മീരി പണ്ഡിറ്റുകളുടെ ഇതുവരെ ലോകമറിയാത്ത എന്തിന് ലോകമറിയുന്നു ഭാരതം തന്നെ അറിയാത്ത കഥന കഥയുടെ അവർ കടന്നുപോയ കനൽ വഴികളുടെ ചിത്രമായിരുന്നു ദി കാശ്മീർ ഫയൽസ് ദി കാശ്മീർ ഫയൽസ് എന്ന ഈ ഇതിഹാസ ചിത്രത്തിൻ്റെ സംവിധായകനും മേക്കറുമായ ശ്രീ വിവേക് അഗ്നിഹോത്രി ഇന്ന് നമ്മളോടൊപ്പം ഉണ്ട് തത്തുമയി ടി വിയോടൊപ്പം ഉണ്ട് അദ്ദേഹത്തോട് നമുക്ക് സംസാരിക്കാം ഹലോ സർ നമസ്കാർ 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 താങ്ക് യു ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ടു കേരള യു ആർ ഇൻ ദ ലാൻഡ് ഓഫ് ആദിശങ്കരാചാര്യ ആൻഡ് യു നോ ദാറ്റ് ആദിശങ്കര ഹാസ് എ കാശ്മീർ കണക്ഷൻ സോ ആസ് എ മേക്കർ ഓഫ് കാശ്മീരി ദ കാശ്മീർ ഫയൽസ് ഹൗ ഡു യു ഫീൽ ടു ബി ഇൻ കേരള വട്ട് ഇസ് യുവർ ഇനിഷ്യൽ റെസ്പോൺസ് regarding the uh, reception of the kashmir files in kerala okay so before i start i want to thank you very much especially you. you and the thank tumai you. channel thank you you have done an exceptional job for thank the service you. of the nation the way you promoted the film the way you stood by me supported me for that i really really thank you thank you your so channel much. your management and all your uh, listeners here thank you okay i am a great follower of Adi Shankaracharya right i speak normally on advaita oh great and uh, what is what is it that adi shankaracharya's philosophy in one word it is about oneness oneness everything is one exactly right there is no dualism exactly right so it's about non dualism and that is the message i want to convey with my films about oneness so you ask me how i am feeling in kerala now what has happened recently that in rest of other states and other places lot of people have started feeling as if kerala is getting little separated from india in terms of integrity and unity and i want to convey a message through all my films through everything which i do that we are all one at least as a society as a culture as a civilization as our belief system and as a nation we are one we cannot go for global oneness and the universal oneness if you don't start the oneness from your own family True. so therefore today i am in such a holy place kerala it's called the country of gods or god's own country god's own country and it actually is god's own country hmm. but the problem is that the gods are on leave right now <laughs> gods are taking a little holiday in kerala and i want gods to come back and save kerala from a very very radical ideology which is leftist ideology True. which i call urban nationals mm. and if i can make the youth of this state aware about the dangers of urban nationalism that would be my great service to adi shankaracharya's philosophy of oneness great great wow. Uh, it is true that uh, yes kerala is a very hostile place for nationalist sort of thinking and nationalist sort of work so when we faced uh, when we took up this campaign over social media and in the ground we also faced many questions now you say that it's uh, your film says about oneness the message of oneness that you try to give but uh, many people here in kerala said the, just the opposite they said it is divisive in nature it is a propaganda film you are trying to paint one particular community in a very bad uh, color uh, in fact uh, some of the people uh, one person i spoke to he was telling me kashmir is a very long 
uh, I mean the long years of struggle and you have just taken a small cluster where the exodus and the killings of Kashmiri pundits happened. Your comment on that. <laughs> okay, divisive. Uh, Did I kill people? No. Who killed people? The terrorist. Right. A uh, hundred percent Hindu land where Adi Shankaracharya went, where there is a Shankaracharya hill, why there is no Hindu over there? Who is devising? I am not dividing anything. They divided. Kashmir was integral part of India. They said Ralif Galif Shalif, which means convert to Islam, run or die. I didn't do it. If mm. I am imagining and doing something, mm. then you can call me divisive. True. How can the messenger be a bad person? Mm. I am just bringing the news. I am just telling you what these people have hidden for so long. True. True. So, uh, and the long struggle, the long struggle is whose? Of the people who are forced to leave Kashmir, not the people who are still living there. What is their struggle? Their struggle is nothing. True. They want to be free from India. Is that their struggle? What is their struggle? Mm. The struggle is of Hindus in Kashmir who from 100% population are 0% population today in long struggle of 700-800 years. That's true. But uh, they also point out that you paint that particular community in a very bad... Uh, Which particular say, community? Muslim community. To tell you that... In my film, I have not used the word Muslim. You have not. I have no. not used the word Pakistan. I have only focused on terrorists. That was international? So, uh, not using the name? No, because I don't think that all Muslims are terrorists. Mm. I have nothing to do with Muslims. Ex it's another thing that when I say terrorist, why some people think of Muslims? Why don't they exactly. think of Buddhists? Exactly. Why don't they think of Jains and Sikhs? No, they say that there are secular Muslims who are opposed to terrorism in Kashmir Valley itself. But Why don't they speak up? You never mentioned anything about that. But they don't speak up. Name one secular uh, Muslim in Kashmir. Name one. So I you challenge you, tell me somebody who's, who opposes terrorism. So you mean to say that all are uh, symbolizing with... Uh, anybody who is silent to oppression is part of oppression. Mm. Anybody who is silent to terrorism is part of terrorism. Vivekji, what was your real challenge in making this film? I know that um, there were efforts and some people had planned about making a film on Kashmiri Pandits long back in Bollywood itself, but uh, they never took up that challenge. What made you take up this great challenge? Because there was lot of, you know, chances of you being branded as a Sankhi, communal, all this criticism you must have expected beforehand. Okay. So let me ask you one question. The, the, there was a debate yesterday about uniform civil court. Yes. Then the Muslim board, personal law board, has opposed it. They said this is against uh, minorities. Okay. How many Muslims are in India? 20 crore. Which are the real minorities of India? Sikhs, Jains, Jains. Parsis, Jews, Christians. Christians. They have not objected. Only they have not objected, Only but, but a community which is actually a majority, but they call themselves a minority. True. Right? Why are they objecting? What is the problem with uniform civil code? When they go to America, what do they follow? Uniform civil code or they have a Sharia law there. Mm. 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 So this kind of double standard has to be exposed. Mm. That was your inspiration to take up this challenge. My inspiration is integrity of India. Mm. I am a follower of Swami Vivekananda. Mm. And I follow his path. Mm. Swami Vivekananda said that give me 100 people, 100 young people and I will change India. Mm. I don't know whether he got 100 people or not, but I am one of them. Definitely, definitely. One more, uh, one more thing which I want to ask. Having seen this film more than once as a viewer, uh, my question is that the, for you, the challenge also should have been that this uh, film at any point of time, it had a chance of slipping into a documentary mode. But that never happened. You try to tell a human interest story and also you try to tell a politically uh, inspiring story. So, how did you keep that balance? Was it a conscious effort or? No. If your intention is correct, mm. you will make a correct thing. Mm. Mm. A in cinema, director cannot hide his own biases. Simple. That's true. Right? We never thought that, okay, we should not talk about Muslims because it was not in our mind. Mm. In our film, so many Muslims were working. Mm. Our our unit was full of Muslims. Oh, 
I have so many close Muslim friends. I am always working with Muslims. Mm. I have no problems with Muslims. I have problem with terrorism, mm. right? So, uh, and as far as documentary is concerned, our because all whatever we know about Kashmir is from political lens mm. or from media lens. Mm. I was looking at it purely from a human angle. Mm. I wanted to tell the pain and suffering of mm. uh, people who were killed and who were made to leave Kashmir. You boldly said that this is not fiction. This is based on real facts. Of course. How much uh, imagination have you mixed in this or how much liberty as a filmmaker you have taken? Okay. So, there is zero imagination. But there is liberty, which is a legitimate uh, way of making cinema. So, there is creative liberty, mm -hmm. which is it was impossible for me to show so many incidents happening at different times to different true, people. True, true, true. Then it would have become a documentary. True. You know, so we wanted to avoid that. So we took the creative liberty, which is a legitimate uh, technique of making movie. I created one timeline and put every uh, thing over there. Picked up many three, four different characters, make them one character. Mm -hmm. Because here, the idea was to tell the human tragedy more than anything else. I heard that the protagonist, uh, I mean the young boy, uh, he is a real life character. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. The, his name is Himanshu Ganju. He lives uh, in America. It is true that he never knew about what happened to his parents. It's true. He didn't know till he was about 18 or 19 years old. Mm. He had no idea. And uh, his name is Himanshu Ganju. Mm. And now he speaks uh, openly about it. It's, uh, it's really frightening to hear that how people can hide history. I mean, so recent history from the public eye, isn't it? Yeah, if such recent history is hidden from people, think about Mopla. Yes, yes. Think about Bengal. I was coming to that also. Yeah. I, I hope you are aware of uh, 1921 genocide that yes. happened in Kerala. Yes, I am more aware than lots of people in Kerala. <laughs> That's great to know. I hope you will take some inter some documentary or some project based on this one Yeah, day. who knows my next film may have it. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, one more thing, uh, Anubam Kher, he, uh, was that choice made consciously again and uh, you made his uh, face uh, painted in blue for a performance kind of thing. I heard that uh, nothing of that uh, drama happens there. Was it done purposely or was it some uh, symbolism you were trying to? <coughs> Both. Kashmiri Pandit community worship Shiva and they have a big Shivratri festival. Uh -huh. Now I had gone to one function and there uh, this young boys, they had become Shiva. They mm -hmm. had painted their, I mean they were uh, acting the role of Shiva. And that's where I got the idea from. I said, why not use it? Because uh, Kashmiri culture means Shiva. True. Like, how did you uh, discuss this first uh, first time with Anubam Kherji? How what was his response? See, when I wrote the script, I didn't think of any actor. I just wrote the script. Hmm. But then I realized that if somebody needs to speak Kashmiri. Somebody has to look Kashmiri. Who can be better than um, him? Mm -hmm. So, I approached him, I met him in America, in New York, I drove to his house myself mm -hmm. and I, when I told him the story, he started crying oh. and then when he read the script, he called me and he said, uh, the whole night I couldn't sleep and I've been crying. I am not sure whether I should do it or not because if I am going to do it, I'll keep crying on the set. What's the point? Oh but my God. Uh, yeah, and that's how But it he did it. Uh, in good a, job. Yeah. Very good job. You had an infatuation for uh, Nexel or left liberal movement in the time. Now you are being called a Sanghi or a BJP supporter or whatever it is. That is fine. See, these people call everybody, whoever doesn't uh, agree with them, they give them labels. These leftist people are very good with labeling and they call everybody communal. But if you look at the history of India, who are the most communal people? These are the most communal people. Why so? Because all the, if you see any kind of a communal uh, problem anywhere, it is always instigated by the leftist people. Always, historically speaking. You mean to say that they are a threat to the society actually, leftist ideology? Of course, not our society, to the entire world. In America, the biggest problem today is leftists. In Europe, the biggest problem is leftists. All over the world, if you see leftist ideology is the most radical ideology. And you take the left out, trust me. Uh, the Islamic terrorism will also dilute. True, true. Because these people are never happy with happiness. They are oh. never happy with success. They don't like peace. They always want the world to believe that there is a problem. Then only they can survive. They talk about class struggle. Today, 
uh, I mean the, all these problems they talk about actually don't exist in India. True, true. One last question. You had Tashkent files, you had Kashmiri files. Now you are going to have Delhi files. Can you just give us a hint about what the film will be? Is it 1984 riots or is it something uh, that happened before? I can't tell much but uh, this film is going to surprise everyone. That's all I can say. Thank you so much Vivekji for being with us today. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much. Thank you.